Question 7. In the laboratory of evil Ms. Lupel, there are three-legged monsters and four-legged monsters. Evil Ms. Lupel has twice as many three-legged monsters as four-legged monsters. If the total number of monster legs in the lab is 40, how many of each kind of monster does she have? <laughs> anyway, um, so we have three-legged monsters, four-legged monsters. It's going to be like a money problem, right? We're talking about numbers of monsters and then their legs. Okay, so monsters and legs. And uh, Evil Ms. Lupel has twice as many three-legged monsters as four-legged monsters. So we're comparing the three-legged monsters to the four-legged monsters. We're comparing these, comparing these guys to those guys. So those guys are X. Okay, so the three-legged monsters are going to be, there's twice as many, so 2X. Then we're looking at their legs. These guys each have four legs. If there are three of them, we have three times four, 12 legs, right? We don't have three of them. We have X of them. So X times four, four X. These guys each have three legs. Three times two X, six X. So that's the number of legs that we've got in the room, okay. But we're also told the total number of monster legs in the lab is 40. So let's write that, okay. The three-legged monster's legs plus the four-legged monster legs is equal to 40. Well, the three-legged monster legs, six X, okay. So that's six X, hello. And the four-legged monster's legs are four X. 6x plus 4x equals 40. That's your equation. It's a very easy equation. Um, 6x plus 4x is 10x. I want to get rid of the 10. The 10 is multiplying the x. Divide both sides by 10. And x is equal to 4. That means we have 4 of these 4-legged monsters, which is awkward to say. And that means that we have 2 times 4, 8 3-legged monsters. All right. And that is my sentence. Ha, 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 ha.